All right, so here's on this particular, you know, we started this as a parametric function. We just call it a vector valued function. And now all of a sudden we can do velocity and acceleration. Here's one velocity vector, here's one acceleration vector. You know, and how do I do it? Um, I just take my position vector, I do the derivative and I get a velocity vector. So just component by component. And I do the derivative to get acceleration, just like everything else. And that's really all you need to know to do the homework assignment here. But I do have um, more discussion and some sort of interesting, cool things to look at. So one thing I did was I took this and um, that's me. I should draw these out ahead of time, but um, let's see what happens. So what I did was um, I set in my y equals. So what these are is y1 and y2 are the position vector position x, position y, and y3 and y4 are the velocity vector, velocity x, velocity y. So this is basically the same functions that we have right there. All right. All right. So then I said, let's make a table. Um, and I set up the table the same way that we had set up the table to draw this graph in the first place using a delta table of 0.3. So every step, which is like a point here, is 0.3. And then uh, I went ahead and made a table of that. So for example, um, we can see that uh, so, so we have to remember, so uh, x is actually t. y1 and y2 are the position vectors. So when I'm at the position 0, 1, what do I have for a velocity? My velocity is 2, 0. So 2, 0 is, here's my velocity. Its, it's length is actually 2, so this is 1. Let's put 2 right there. So this is my velocity vector at t equals 0. All right, v of 0. All right, then what happens when I get to... Uh, 0.3. I have 1.6507. I don't know how exact I want to be this, but I have negative 0.3. So from here, the uh, the y component is negative 0.3. So one, two, three, and then um, it's like the uh, 1.65. I don't know somewhere over here somewhere. So I'm not being terribly exact. But here's my next velocity vector. So see how it's curving down. The velocity vector is curving down as I go along. So this is velocity at 0 0.3 and then I can sort of keep doing that so velocity uh, 0 0.6 I have 0.7 negative 0.5 that's getting a little more reasonable to draw so 0.7 would be I think I'm here um, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 negative 0.5 1 2 3 4 5 so just roughly speaking there's that velocity vector at uh, at t equals 0 0.6. So see how the velocity vectors are going like this, like this, like this. It's it's telling you how, so, so one of the things that you're seeing is, of course, we're changing direction, which we would know just from the tangent, dy dx. But see how the velocity vector is getting shorter? That means the speed is decreasing. The object is slowing down uh, around the corner, right? Sort of predictably. Now, when we get to this point, so our next point, now my velocity is negative 0.45, so we'll call it negative 0.5, negative 0.8. Okay, so negative 0.5, I'm here, I guess. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 0.8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's the head of the vector. Here's my velocity vector. All right, so I mean, that's pretty much enough to show you what's going on. I think I want to skip to this one because this one's interesting. And we just skip down one. Then I have negative 1.98. So like negative 2, negative 1. Basically, it's negative 2, negative 1. All right, so from here, the velocity is negative 2, negative 1. So I'm going to go 2 to the left. is going to put me like over here-ish. All right, and then 1 down is going to put me like here. So what's interesting to me is, this is the longest vector. This is the longest velocity vector. So this is where the object is going the fastest, is when it's right there. So that's velocity at, z, uh, let's see, this is 0 0.6. This is 0 0.8. So this must be 1.2, because I skipped one. All right, so those are some, you know, sampling of the velocity vectors. And you can see that as I go around, there, the velocity vector is always going to be tangent to the curve, but it's going to get longer and shorter depending on how, what the speed is, how fast um, this object is going. All right, so let's see. Um, yeah, so I have something else cool to show you on that, which I will show you in the next video.